there, my name is Ashley and I'm part of the customer success team here at Phonic. Welcome to Integrations 101. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to complete a Phonic and Qualtrics integration from start to finish. Let's get started. The Phonic and Qualtrics integration is achieved by using our recording widget. Our widget includes both audio and video options and is integrated into Qualtrics by adding custom HTML. Note that not all Qualtrics plans allow for custom HTML and that you should check this out before continuing. The first step to your Phonic and Qualtrics integration is to create a Phonic survey. Your Phonic survey is where your audio and or video data will be stored. Phonic will only store your audio and video data. Any other data that you collect within your Qualtrics survey will be stored in Qualtrics directly. Later in this tutorial, we'll touch on how to link the data in Phonic to the data that you collect using Qualtrics. When building your Phonic survey, you will want to make sure that you are using the appropriate question type. If you want to collect an audio response, then your survey will need an audio question type. Similarly, if you are collecting video responses, then your survey will need video question types. For each question or response that you would like to integrate into Qualtrics, you will need a mirror question in Phonic. Let's say that I want to embed two audio questions into Qualtrics. I'll create two audio questions in Phonic. Once the survey is complete, we can hit publish. The next step in our integration will be to obtain the appropriate HTML for our two questions. We can do this in two ways. The first is to create the HTML manually. We recommend going this route if you're familiar and comfortable with HTML. If you're not familiar with HTML, then you might want to consider using our widget builder. For both mechanisms, it is a good idea to pull up a plain text file where you can paste and edit the HTML code, which we will then copy and paste into Qualtrics. The first bit of code that we need is the HTML script tag which will be added into the Qualtrics header. You can obtain this code below. Copy the HTML and paste it into your plain text file. Next, we need the HTML template for each individual audio or video question. This template can also be found below and includes four key attributes, mode, survey ID, question ID, and response ID. The survey ID and question ID refer to those of your phonic survey, while the response ID attribute will store each participant's Qualtrics ID in phonic. This is how you will be able to link your data and it is very important that this attribute be included. Finally, mode can change from audio to video depending on the question type you want to add. If you would like to make your audio questions mandatory in Qualtrics, then we will want to add the attribute platform and set it to equal Qualtrics. This will essentially hide the Qualtrics next arrow at the bottom of the page and use the Phonic Submit button to move the survey forward. This HTML template can also be found below. All of our widget customizations can be added to your integration by adding their attributes to your HTML code. We walk you through all of these customizations in our Integrations 101 Customizations tutorial. This video is linked below along with our written customization guide. We need to specify the Phonic Survey ID and the Phonic Question ID. We will head over to our Phonic Survey to obtain these. Click on your Phonic Survey and then click on the first question. In the URL, there are two ID codes. The first ID code refers to the survey ID, and the second ID code refers to the question ID. So for question one, we'll copy over the survey ID and paste it between quotations after survey ID equals. And then we'll copy over the question ID and paste it between the quotations after question ID equals. 
And we'll do these same steps for the second question. Alternatively, HTML code can be obtained through our widget builder in the Phonic dashboard. The widget builder is located in the share tab and we will click on embedded question. Using the dropdown, select your question of interest. Next, click on the behavior dropdown and set the platform to Qualtrics. This will add some extra HTML code that ensures participants' Qualtrics IDs are collected and stored in Phonic. The HTML code will automatically be populated and we can click copy embed code and then paste it into the text file. We can repeat this for our second question as well. Now there are two pieces to this HTML. Our phonic embed tag, which will be entered directly into your Qualtrics question, and the script tag, which will be entered into your Qualtrics survey header. Let's separate these out now so that copying over to Qualtrics is straightforward. We only need one script tag, so we can just delete the second one. There are also two attributes that you might want to remove. The first is the prompt. If your question text is programmed in Qualtrics, then you'll want to remove the prompt from the phonic widget. The second is an attribute that makes the question mandatory. If you want participants to be able to skip either your audio or video question, then we will want to remove the platform equals Qualtrics from our code. Now that our code is ready, let's head over to Qualtrics. Over in Qualtrics, we'll first add our header HTML. Click on the paintbrush icon in the left side menu to open look and feel. In look and feel, navigate to the general tab and then to the header section. Click edit and then click on the code editor icon. Here you can paste in your script tag HTML and it should look like this. Note that you must be in the code editor and not in the normal text editor. Now that we have our script HTML in the header of our survey, we can head back to the Qualtrics questions page to add our individual question HTML. For each question, click on the question text, then click into HTML view. In HTML view, we'll paste the question HTML under our question text. Note that after you add your phonic HTML into a question, any question text must be edited in HTML view or Qualtrics will delete the phonic HTML. Repeat this process for all of your questions in Qualtrics. Let's take a look at what our Qualtrics integration looks like so far. I'm going to preview the block of questions that we just programmed and you can see that both microphones are showing up on the same page. This is going to cause some technical issues for our participants. So let's go back to the Qualtrics Survey Builder and add a page break. This will make sure that our audio responses are on two separate survey pages. We can see in the preview now that each audio question is on its own page and everything is functioning as expected. As participants take your Qualtrics survey, data will appear in both Qualtrics and Phonic. In Phonic, you will see the audio response with the transcription, as well as sentiment analyses. Each participant will have a session ID at the top of their data summary. This session ID is the same as the response ID in Qualtrics, 
allowing you to easily link participants' Qualtrics and Phonic data. To view the response ID in Qualtrics, use the column chooser and select response ID under survey metadata. You can also export the phonic data to CSV by clicking on options and then selecting export survey data. In the pop-up, check off include response IDs to ensure that the Qualtrics IDs are exported. And that concludes our Phonic and Qualtrics integration tutorial. Be sure to check out our customization tutorial, which will walk you through all of the different customizations that you can add to the audio widget. Thanks for joining today.